Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is November 23rd of 2022. I'm doing an extra bonus question because I don't know, I just didn't like that one. Um, yeah, let's do a medium one, uh, one that I haven't done yet. And that's, uh, you know, let's pick a random one that isn't a, a premium one. So let's do another one. Also a premium one. Uh, also a premium one. That, that looks like an SQL problem anyway. All right, let's go. 688 night probability and chessboard. So this one is, um, I mean, just by guessing from the name, really, I ha haven't, well, I, I cannot say I haven't seen this one before. I, I clearly have not done this one on Lead Code, but I have done something similar before. Um, this is, you know, um, I think the key, and this is kind of tricky if you don't have the fundamental math for it. So I don't know what to make to kind of explain this, but um, but the the core part is um, it's just probability theory. Of course, it's kind of in the name, but probability theory. But the core part about that probability theory is stuff um, around um, linearity of expectations, right? Meaning, um, yeah, uh, I mean, but that I or that probability is linear as well. So. Um, at least for these independent events, I suppose. Uh, maybe I'm seeing that in a really imprecise way now that I'm, I'm hearing myself a little bit, because I think I definitely, uh, uh, yeah, so, some people who are very good at math will probably be like, what is Larry talking about? Just like saying random stuff. But what I mean by that is, is um, um, using the same idea it, um, is that then, you know, uh, let's see. Let, let me double check what it's asking for first. What is it? And... Do, 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 do. K exact moves. Uh, it chooses one to eight. Okay. 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 So the board size is all in C and oh, up to 25. Okay. Um, yeah. And this also, this problem also has a, <laughs> has a, has a matrix exponent, exponent, matrix exponentialization, exponential, exponential. Uh, solution, but, uh, but we're not going to worry about that one. But basically, this is dynamic programming, right? So the idea, um, and one of the kind of key part about dynamic programming that, you know, you might not put together without, I mean, I know that a lot of people kind of gunk this by just like having done enough problems, and that's fine. Um, you know, you have to start somewhere. Uh, but the idea here is that in in dynamic programming, it's just about um, repeated sub problems, right? And that's basically the core part that you want to figure out. And there's this idea that um, um, I don't know. I'm saying it really, really today. Maybe I need more sleep. But but yeah. But basically, the idea here is that you know, for every every uh, let's just say we have some f of x y, and after k say, it's going to be the sum of the components of f of I don't know, x plus dx, y uh, plus dy, um, k minus 1 for dx, dy in night moves, right? Something like this. I'm not writing it out because I'm late. But basically, you want the sum of all these things because, um, well, kind of. I think I'm saying this a little bit weird. Well, it's because we have equal probability. That's why if it wasn't equal, then... Uh, or like, you know, maybe if the knight favors going on upper left or something, I know the two upper lefts or something like that, then in theory, um, you know, and this is just very standard probability stuff that, you know, um, I don't know if it comes up on interviews unless you're like on, you're, you're interviewing at a fintech or something, but basically P of some, some event X um, is just equal to, for, for all the independent events, it's just, you know, some probability times P of some other event that leads to it and so forth. I'm not like, I'm not using correct notations at all. Sorry, friends. But but the idea here is that what I mean is that it's just like one eighth times this is my point. Um, and I don't know, I think I'm doing a terrible job explaining. So my fault. But but basically, the idea is just to write out that formula, right? That's a core part of what you want to do for this problem is getting familiar enough with probability that you are able to write out this formula and then um, 
and then that's pretty much it. Um, let me see if I want to do a top down or bottom. So 25, 25 is what? 625. Yeah, 625 times 100 is uh, 62,000 times 8. Eh, it should be okay. Let's do it tops down. And if not, then we you know, blame it on lead code. But basically, the idea here is this, right? So basically, let's just say, what is the probability that we land on um, XY after exactly K moves? So that's basically what we want to figure out. Um, and then, you know, we just do 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 do. Mm, I'm going to rename this just because it's a little bit confusing. Uh, I like using big N. And I just might as well. Why not? I think mean, that's just as clear. Um, and then here we want to do night moves. So let's just do night moves as you go to, um, you know, and this is just me typing out the night's move um, as it were. Very easy to get missed one. So hopefully I haven't missed one. And you know, uh, if you do spot it at home, <laughs> props to you, I guess. Um, okay. So, um, yeah. And this is basically, like I said, uh, okay. If K is equal to zero and we're still inside the board, then we return one, right? Because that means that there's a, you know, any, Mm, wait, do we have to start on it anyway? I forget. Oh, this is the place you start. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I actually misunderstood that then. I mean, it's the same thing, but uh, but basically now if X is equal to R and Y is equal to C, we return one oops. One oops. Uh, else we turn 0, 0.0, right? And then basically now that changes our base case, but that's fine. Otherwise, then we go, okay, for dx, dy in, in night moves, um, and uh, x, uh, and x, and y is equal to x plus dx, y plus dy. And then if it is within the board, because you can only move from a position that's inside the board, right? Oh, this is not R. This is N. Then, um, so let's just say the total probability is equal to 0, 0.0. And then in this case, it is going to be total probability. We add it to P of NX and Y, K minus 1. And at the end, we return total probability. And then we just return... Um, I kind of did it in a way, but now we have to sum up everything that's on inside the board. So then we just do, 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 you know, total probability, do, 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 and then moves or something, right? I think I renamed it. So something like that. This is probably going to time out. Maybe not, because only the inputs are small enough. I was wrong now. Oh, I forgot to. I mean, I, I said I said this, but I I didn't do it. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, point eight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is because you know uh, I kind of wrote this in an awkward way, but like we said before, this is this over eight. And therefore, everything is over eight, right? Like you just take it out. That's what I kind of did here. Um, yeah, but the the thing is that this is probably gonna be too slow. Let's actually um, how do I add? I always don't know how to add a case on this one. But twenty five, a hundred, a hundred. Yeah. So of course, with dynamic programming, or in this case, memorization. Um, the, the thing to kind of take notice is that we call this function a lot for the same input. So let's uh, let's cache the memory. Let's save it somewhere. Uh, yeah. And let's do that. Right. So oops. So as usual. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. OK. Fine. Mm. 
So we want the inner one to be K. Okay. Now, of course, if, and this is, you know, uh, I, I, sorry, I didn't really explain it that much this time, which is my fault, but this is how I always write, at least for uh, teaching purposes, uh, the dynamic programming. The idea behind memorization, and hopefully you already are familiar with this one, because otherwise, um, this is kind of a hard problem for you. Um, sorry, let me finish typing, and then, uh, and, and then... Yeah, okay. Um, but the idea here uh, with memorization is that, you know, you you want something that is going to be basically, you know, uh, given this function, it if you put in the same inputs every time, it gives you the same output every time, then, then that's why you want to memorize because, you know, uh, it, it's always going to give you the same output. So, you know, yeah. So why not save it for next time? And here we have x goes to 0 to n, uh, 0 to n, uh, y goes to 0 to n as well. Man, I'm not really explaining this one. This one was 0 to moves, okay. I'm just going to go m. So of course, um, the time complexity is you go to number of inputs times time per input, as I always say. And the number of inputs is going to be n squared times m, so all of this. Um, and time per input is going to be O of 8 because we just do, you know, a for loop of 8 things. So in total, it's going to be O of n square m, right? And of course, this is a little bit more nuanced, as I always say, because the input size is actually not n or whatever. So you could say this is exponential, but... Uh, let's just say this is n squared m though and of course in space it's the same thing except for instead of zero uh, uh o of eight, eight you have o of one and of course o of eight is just o of one anyway but i just wanted to clear out um so yeah so total time and space is going to be the same and this is it um that's pretty much what i have for this one i think if you're a little bit weak on this one there are a couple of similar problems and the idea behind this really even though i mean Obviously, the probability part may be troubling for some people if they just haven't done similar problems before. But the the um yeah, the idea behind these things is just writing out the formula. And once you see this this pattern of um and you know for me maybe I skipped a couple of steps just because I've done so many of these problems. But if you write out the probability formula and it looks kind of like this, uh, and you're able to write it out in this way, then the next thing to do is just like re recognizing that there are overlapping subproblems and then writing out um, uh, memorization as a result of that. Um, cool. Um, this is pretty much all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me show you the top and the bottom. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. Happy Thanksgiving, friends. Um, stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health. Hope to see you, hope to see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.